It's now the sidelines of the 7th African Magic Viewers Choice Awards. Multi-Choice Nigeria CEO John Ube says there's a lot more attention in Africa's movie industry as both local and foreign investors are beginning to invest in the industry. CNBC Africa's Debbie Movoria reports. Well, it's been a very interesting journey. Uh, starting out, we felt there was a need to reward excellence. Uh, Africa Magic is, you know, the continent's most loved storyteller. We've always said it's important for the African story to be told by Africans. We've given that platform over seven channels with local language, local culture, channels all over Africa. So for us, it's been a very beautiful journey. You can see the quality of work, uh, you know, today from when we started. So rewarding excellence has really grown the industries, allowed people to put in a lot more effort, but not just rewarding excellence. We're also the biggest investors in uh, African content, and that you know tells a story on its own. What could we expect that will be different this year compared to previous years? Gosh, you know, that's always the most difficult question I get because we don't want to let out what's going to be different. We want people to be surprised. We want people to see. Uh, but what I can tell you is already different is the quality of the nominees. I mean, just we don't know how the judges even managed to pick and how the viewers themselves were able to select who wins. But what I can tell you, it's, a, it's going to be bigger than what we've ever seen. But I'll try not to spoil the surprise by letting the cat out of the bag now. Now, as someone who has been in Africa's uh, media, in um, entertainment and movie industry for a while, how would you narrate the journey so far, the growth journey for Africa's movie industry? You know, creativity is, we all have it. Uh, so, investment is what Africa really needed to take us to where we need to be in the world. That is happening. Uh, and this is not industrialization where you need to build big factories. We are creative. I mean, the story writer will sit down and write just the same way anybody else in the world would do. So, so for us, that progression, all it needed was just investment, nurturing, and that's what we continue to do. Over 50 countries we take in Africa, you know, we created that platform. And as soon as people saw what we could do, a lot more people are coming in and you know the creative industry when we say creative industry people always think it's just the cameraman or this no it affects the food industry people have to feed these people carpenters fashion designers and you'll see different categories of people being rewarded here today so it's actually something that affects the entire GDP as an example I mean multi choice Nigeria has contributed over two billion dollars in the last five years directly and indirectly to Nigeria's GDP and that tells you what we can do if you know there's a lot more investment in the industry as a portfolio how appetizing um, is Africa's movie industry to investors how attractive it is to foreign investors I think with the structure that is coming in uh, not just foreign but even local investors there's a lot more attention and more people are beginning to invest in it because you know there's a marketplace uh, we buy a lot of content people know that if content is made it can be sold a lot more people are investing in it and it's getting you know stronger obviously there's a lot more investment needed but i think it's growing definitely well one part of africa's moving in movie industry that many of us would like to see grow is um, demand for more cinema movies what's the cinema market like in africa and how can we get more people to patronize cinema movies i think it's growing uh, obviously there's need for a lot more cinema screens because you you need more screens to actually make that uh, part of the industry bigger in terms of revenue so uh, but it's a lot of money because it's infrastructure. But it's been growing over the years, and I think if there's a lot more investment going in, it will continue to grow. And uh, once people see a big platform, they'll produce. But also we have the box office platform that puts the movie in front of 50 countries immediately. So there's also that direct-to-home approach that also you know, creates family time and family viewing. Now, you talked about telling the African story by Africans. How well could, um, how attractive is, what's the demand like for local movies? Local movies by my dad, I mean like the Yoruba movies, the movies in our indigenous language. What's the demand like, especially outside the shores of Africa? Well, absolutely big. I mean, we have, you mentioned Africa Magic Yoruba. We have one full channel 24-7. And it's a very popular channel around. But I think when you talk local, let's go back to one of the biggest movies, uh, uh, Wakanda. It's a local story. 
So all we are saying is write it well, produce it, put the best actors in it, and it will be a big hit worldwide. And it doesn't matter in what language you shoot. A lot of breakout series are not even in English. Now, it's, it's, um, Africa's uh, movie industry or entertainment industry does not operate in isolation. The world is facing a pandemic right now, and different um, researchers have talked about how it impacts different sectors. In what way do you think the COVID-19 outbreak could impact Africa's um, entertainment or movie industry? Well, you know, we're not completely insulated from everywhere. We are, uh, that, that impact will be felt, you know, it's being felt around the world. However, we're very resilient, we're fighters here. Uh, we hope, you know, we, it stops just the way it started and the industries and, you know, all the stock exchanges in the world can begin to recover because once they begin to recover, people are going to invest again. Talking about stock exchange, do you see multi-choice ever listing on the Nigerian stock exchange? Well, you know, we, we just, uh, multi-choice as a group, just listed in the South African stock exchange uh, last year in February. So as needs, you know, uh, by the company have seen, then potentially, but unfortunately I can't speak about that right now.